Good morning. I'm here to talk to you about the AL7 Pilgrim. Specs, details, how it plays, some comparisons, because I failed to do that with the original Pilgrim, apparently. Pilgrim is our um, semi-signature for Nathan Marsoff. He helped design it, brought some design ideas to the forefront, and then we kind of polished the ideas and created the Pilgrim. It's kind of more of an old school organic. It's got the high walls. Um, and then this AL7 version is 7068 body. Increased the weight, so even more old school, I would say, at this point, because um, old school yo-yos played heavier. So this has a little extra heft, and it kind of just really does take you back. 10 years or so. Specs are coming in at 55.5 by 44.5. That's your diameter and width. The original Pilgrim clocked in at 65.35. The AL7 is the 1.5 grams heavier. It comes in at 68, or sorry, 66.85 on the 7068 AL7 version. Design wise, you will see it's very organic. Um, Biggest inspiration, inspiration draw was from the Albatross. It has the stability ring in the cup. It has a similar style nipple, kind of updated to get rid of some of that center weight and then keep the high wall with an undercut in it. Um, so with the undercut, you can kind of shallow out some, some of that weight. Um, still gives you the high wall feel without a solid wall in there. So these are a Patreon exclusive model. We had four different colors and it was kind of a pre-order style. So they got it as their monthly shipment. Um, they could pre-order Xers. And if you're a member there, you could also pre-order your color as well without getting monthly shipments. We had the BAP, the Grape Snozberry, Gotham, and then this Candy Storm. Super happy with Anno on all of these in the play. Let's talk about that now. Playability wise, the Pilgrim is extra comfortable in the hand. It's a very nice organic rounded shape. Rim is comfortable as well. On the string, uh, with the AL7 version, you definitely can get that extra heft. It doesn't feel overly heavy to me, and I'm one that really likes lighter throws. Uh, so the 66 grams and change could definitely scare you away on paper. Um, the weight where I think it translates most is that it makes me feel like the yo-yo is smaller than it actually is. It kind of feels more like a mid-sized yo-yo than the full size that it is. Stability and spin time are good. The stability is a lot of fun with the high wall. Um, I would call it maneuverable where if you're not rubbing the wall the stability is great. But you can incorporate it to where you're tilting the yo-yo based on the pressure you put on the sides. Um, just a lot of that that old school feel in with that rejects very well with those high walls and really helps with the suicide loops as well last little bit I would mention is it's fantastic at regens so that kind of it adds to the old school enjoyment of this yo-yo uh, overall that's kind of the short and sweet on the AL7 Pilgrim thanks for watching